Hi Sagittarius, this is your July 5th or July 11th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Chariot and the, the Empress. And we also have the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. This is actually an amazing reading, Sagittarius. Right off the bat, we have the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. This is pretty much a proposal to uh, it's a proposal to get married, or it's a proposal to uh, take this relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. It truly is that type of a important offer. The Ten of Cups is one of the commitment or marriage cards. It's a family card because we also have a couple of kids among those two adults jumping around, right? Then it's uh, called the Happily Ever After card. And it's clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. To me personally, the Ace of Pentacles is like the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle any other Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is like a bun bundle, right? It's a package. All Aces combined into one. And together with the Ten of Cups, this is definitely an offer to um, ascend this connection to the next level. Um, however, the one on the receiving end of this offer, and uh, that is most likely you, Sagittarius, um, is not 100% sure. You're taking your time, or you will be taking your time, you'll be thinking about it uh, for a day, or a couple of days, or a week, who knows. The next card I came out is the two on ones. And I think that is your energy. The three of ones on the bottom of the deck is also your energy, but we'll get to that in just a second. But the two of ones, this is you, you know. You're standing still, you're looking at um, your options, you're looking at this offer, and you're trying to decide whether this is a good enough offer for you. I'm not judging you, you know, but uh, you will be taking your sweet time. <laughs> And uh, the person making the offer is going to be patiently waiting for you. The next card that came out is uh, the Seven of Pentacles, and it's clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting. The Knight of Pentacles, clarifying that Seven of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or um, the Knight of Pentacles is kind of similar to the Ace of Pentacles offer, because uh, the Knight of Pentacles is holding out is holding out a pentacle, a coin, and I think that's exactly the coin, the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles on the left. That simply means that the offer is really, really serious. The Knight of Pentacles is also the slowest knight out of all four knights, so um, this person um, must have thought this offer through, and uh, they, they um, made sure that the offer is flawless. <laughs> Perhaps you think it's too good to be true, I don't know, perhaps you have more than one person to choose from, or it's just that so sudden, so unexpected that uh, you're a little bit shocked, you're a little bit perplexed and uh, you need to take your time, that's fine. And um, with the three ones on the bottom of the deck, all the way to the right, uh, this is you making up your mind. The three of ones is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. And uh, I believe your decision is going to be all about moving forward. Uh, speaking about moving forward, uh, we got the Wheel of Fortune with the Chariot and the Empress in the potential outcome. Both the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot are movement cards, right? Uh, the Chariot is one of the fastest cards in the deck. So I think once uh, you uh, figure it out for yourself, <laughs> Um, this relationship will be moving forward really, really quickly with that Chariot card. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune being right next to the Chariot is like a turbocharger in the car. That will turbocharge that Chariot. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune ultimately is the start of a new cycle, but uh, it's a pretty quick card, right? And uh, the last card that came out is the Empress. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. By the way, every single card in the potential outcome is a major arcana card, so uh, to me personally, it's not really a potential <laughs> outcome anymore. I think this is where you're going. Um, uh, the, the Empress, like I said, is one of the most positive cards in the deck. This is 
uh, abundance in its purest form. The Empress is also uh, somebody who is expecting a baby. So that card goes very nicely together with the Ten of Cups, the first card on the left with that Ace of Pentacles. Right? Um, so having children could definitely be an option for you here if that is still an option for you. And in my spreads, the Empress always shows up as a sign from above or um, a stamp of approval, so to speak, for a connection, for a relationship to move forward. And move forward, you will together with this person, because like I said, the Wheel of Fortune with the Chariot right there together are for a reason. Well. Um, do take your time if you have to, Sagittarius. They'll be waiting for you. They're not going anywhere. And uh, this serious offer is on the table. All right, really happy for you. Congratulations. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Five of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands with the Page of Cups, and we also have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It's a very simple spread. I see these spreads all the time, Sagittarius, not only uh, in Sagittarius readings. Uh, somebody here is going to start a fight. Um, I don't know if it's going to be you or the, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. Perhaps you already did get into a fight. Um, but hopefully by the end of the week, um, the two of you will kiss and make up. And I do see uh, at least an attempt to uh, kiss and make up <laughs> towards the end of the week. Anyway, we've got the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is your card. This is you. I really like the fact that your card came out and it's on the bottom of the deck. Uh, that means you are the one in charge, and uh, you could be the one starting the fight, i got to be honest with you, right? Um, or, if you're not the one starting the fight, then uh, everything pretty much revolves around you. The first card I came out is the Five of Wands. This is a card of a conflict or a confrontation. It's that fight I was just talking about. Then we have the Knight of Swords. If your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other is an air sign, then it makes total sense, because uh, Knight of Swords is... Um, one of the air sign indicators. If it's not an air sign you're dealing with, then the Knight of Swords, if you take a closer look, this is actually out of four, four out of all four knights, is the knight that tends to get into a fight. This is the energy of uh, whoever wants to start a fight. Because uh, take a closer look, the, uh, the knight is charging ahead, uh, they've got their sword out, and they're ready to charge, they're ready to strike with their sword. Right, together with the five of wands, this is definitely some sort of a confrontation. However, <laughs> the next the next card, the last card I came out is the eight of wands, and it's clarified by the page of cups. The page of cups is a card of an apology in this particular case, and the eight of wands is a card of communication. So if somebody here is going to be reaching out to the other person and apologizing. Alright, Sagittarius, so like I said, kiss and make up. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Sagittarius, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Four of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Five of Pentacles, and we also have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck, that is you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, here comes this X with the Knight of Pentacles, the first card on the left. Uh, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but it could be pretty much any sign. Uh, but the offer is going to be actually solid. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all four knights, so they thought this offer through. They have a plan. They've prepared themselves for this offer. They, they want to make sure uh, you see how important it is for them or how serious they are about you, but um, it's not going to work on you. The answer is still going to be no, because uh, the Knight of Pentacles is clarifying the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of a rejection, and uh, I believe that is you rejecting this offer. The next card I came out is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden, so it's a big burden for them because they are getting rejected. And the last card I came out is the Five of Pentacles. This is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold. This is a card of somebody feeling miserable. So now they have to, they'll just have to crawl back with the tail between their, between their legs, ashamed and reject it because uh, you don't want to have anything to do with this person anymore.
Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances, Sagittarius. This week we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Star, clarified by the Nine of Cups, we have the Justice and we have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra or a Cancer. So, um, at first I thought that you were recovering from something, from some kind of a loss or devastation. Um, but uh, I decided to clarify the Star card and the Nine of Cups came out. So. Now I'm changing my mind. <laughs> You're not actually recovering from something, uh, but um, some sort of a wish is going to come true for you. And uh, you were really, really worried that it's not going to come into fruition, but uh, it is. It is coming. Um, perhaps you are suing somebody, or somebody is suing you, or like... Um, it, it could be pretty much anything. So justice will be served. Something is going to go in your favor. Something you were worried is not was wasn't going to go in your favor, but it is going to go in your favor, right? So the first card I came out is the Nine of Swords. I think this is your energy. You're very worried. You're stressed out. You don't know if the outcome is going to be in your favor. You don't know what's going to happen, and. Uh, from that point on, it's only good news for you. It's only good news for you, Sagittarius, because the next card that came out is the Star, and it's clarified by the Nine of Cups. Um, the Star, every once in a while, comes through as a card of healing, but it is also a card of a wish come true, and that's exactly why I clarified it. Then the, the Nine of Cups came out, and the Nine of Cups is the second wish come true card in the Tarot deck. So there's two of them in the Tarot deck, and one is clarifying the other. Right? So, um, it is a wish come true for you. Something you were worried about wasn't going to happen, it is happening. Um, the, the next card that came out is Justice. Justice is the personal Libra card, but I think this is all about somebody or something being favor or something going in, in your favor, right? Um, it could be a decision by the court, and uh, in that case, the ruling is going to be in your favor. And the chariot on the bottom of the deck, this is one of the victory cards in the tarot deck and that's exactly what's happening. You're, uh, this is definitely a victory for you, this is definitely a wish come true for you. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Sagittarius, this week. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Star, we have the Six of Swords, and uh, we've got the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck and I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> I looked underneath the Three of Pentacles and we've got the Sun. This is an improvement spread. By the way, the star is a personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So things are about to get better. Or somebody wants to make things right with you. So, so the first card I came out is the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody coming in. It could be some money coming in. Not a lot of money, but perhaps enough for you to uh, enjoy <laughs> this week. Or enough for you to pay off whatever you need to pay for. Um, or this is somebody coming in. Um, and they want to work things out with you. So whatever they did to you, they want to um, just give you something, right? Because the Page of Pentacles um, is often something tangible, something you can touch. So somebody's coming in with a gift or whatever they may think is appropriate in this case. Then we have the star. The star is the personal Aquarius card, like I said, or the star is a wish come true. This is also a card of healing. So this is this person coming in and uh, they want to heal the situation, they want to work things out with you, or if this is money coming in, this is something you were hoping for and it is uh, coming in. We also have the Six of Swords right next to the deck. This is, the Six of Swords is a card of a rough patch being over, or this is a card of moving out of choppy water towards calmer water, so yeah, things are about to get better with that Six of Swords, or you're working things out with this person. Speaking of working things out, the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of uh, multiple people working on something or working something out, right? This is also a card of uh, work, business, and finances. And uh, the Sun, right underneath the Three of Pentacles, this is the happiest card in the deck. Um, so whatever is happening here, uh, you will definitely have a reason to smile <laughs> and probably it will actually make you happy, Sagittarius. Alright, so that's what I got for you for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. And other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.